Well, it's been an eventful week for Coronation Street's James Bailey. And last night, he finally opened up to his father about his sexuality. Two episodes, in fact, last night. Nathan Graham, who plays James, joins us now this morning. It's such an important storyline. Nathan, I guess you, you almost feel the pressure of that because it's, it's tackling lots of issues under one umbrella. Yeah, I feel like we're um, approaching and tackling two, two things, you know, there's the the racism element and then the homophobia element as mm -hmm. well. So for James, he has kind of both to deal with yeah. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And to highlight both issues is really important. And uh, discrimination is discrimination, no matter if that's racism, homophobia, like it's all in the same, same bracket and neither one is more important than the other, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. And last night we kind of, we kind of thought Ed, you know, his dad, his yeah. dad, w was going to be okay. Put yeah. his arms around uh -huh. him. You know, I, I love you. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter who you are. And it sort of didn't end up that way, unfortunately. And we saw the confrontation with Danny and everything else. I mean, I'm suspecting it's going to become quite heated before there's any calmness within the Bailey household. Yeah, and I think um, it was important to show that. Um, Ed, he did, well, it looked like he accepted it, but then it is truthful to show that side that it's still not accepted in maybe some families, like, in, in the world. And to, to show that, you know, him struggling with it is, is a good thing to yeah. highlight and point out. And, of course, uh, James plays football mm -hmm. in, in Coronation Street, and, and that's another aspect of this story, I guess, yeah. is that sort of prejudice within the sporting mm -hmm. world, which, which is still obviously there in some yeah. respect for so many people. And I know you, you met with, actually, uh, rugby player Keegan Hurst, yeah, didn't did, you? Yeah. Um, and Keegan, of course, um, came out as, mm -hmm. as gay, and, and, you know, it's always a brave thing to have to do, I think, when you're in sport, still, even, even today. Yeah, still, even to, to this day and to this point, but talking to Keegan, like, he from his experiences, he told me by the time it got to uh, coming out publicly, he said to me that that was easier than telling like his family, yeah. his friends, because to him, that was the most important thing is because the people that could, you know, reject him or be nasty to him or whatever, they were the people that he told. So when it came to coming out publicly, and if it was like, he said like John down the street had something to say, that wasn't, yeah. that wouldn't affect him as much. And I guess you draw on those conversations then yeah, yeah. And, and channel that now uh -huh. into to James and, yeah. and the relationship that you have mm -hmm. with, with your dad on screen. We've got a little clip, in fact, from tomorrow night's Coronation mm -hmm. Street. Of course, continues tomorrow at 7.30. This is some Friday nights. I know you're still angry at your dad. I guess I just thought it was better than that. He is. You've changed your tune. I am not excusing his behaviour. I'm just trying to understand it from his point of view. What's it to understand? My own dad's a homophobe. No. No, he, he's old and stuck in his ways and he's as dumb as a sack of hammers sometimes. But never that. He loves you too much for that. We're loving your mum. Yeah. <laughs> She's been so good, hasn't she? Yeah. Were you a Corey fan beforehand? Yeah, I used to watch it, and then to to then be there, it's like, whoa. <laughs> you yeah, know, like... and you were kind of thrown in the deep end on episode one, weren't you? It was with Steve McDonald, and yeah. you were doing stunts and all sorts of yeah. things. Well, it wasn't actually me doing the stunt, but well, still, you know. You know, maybe we can claim that I did, but I, I'd like to, maybe one day, but not, not on my first day. So, um, yeah, that was thrown in at the deep end, and, yeah, you know, obviously it was great to work with. Steve and he was so supportive and everybody is there and they just make you feel so comfortable yeah. and it's just a great environment to, to work in. I'm making history in many respects as yeah. the first black family in Coronation Street, yeah. which actually is still hard to believe we're even saying that yeah. either. But now we're here and, you know, hopefully we are doing, doing a good job and I think it's that, it goes back to that thing of representation and, you know, like, um, when you're watching something, you want to kind of see yourself represented and mm. it goes same for James's storyline, you know, awesome. with the, with his sexuality and stuff. So it makes a big difference yeah. to a lot of people. Well Corey tomorrow night, uh, seven thirty, ITV, thank you so much. Oh, it's thank great you, to see you.